Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. Let's go. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record. If anyone still cares. Let's get in the booth. Let us go. Let us go. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's yeah. been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with, with <laughs> new popsicles. New popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, pool tournament. The upcoming Fourth of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? serious need of some divine foresight and having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week Ooh, big moment dang big moment are your knees weak palms sweaty i feel like i'm about to throw up yes i can see why a prediction is in order yeah so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly that'd be great i will consult with mother fate be right back. And by mother fate, I mean my D20. Let's go. Seventeen. You go, girl. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. Dinner goes well. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your parents telling embarrassing stories, bragging about your accomplishments, and misusing slang. And misusing slang while trying to seem cool. <laughs> slag? They spelt the thing. Here lies Olivia. Tragically yeeted to an early grave by her parents. <laughs> All told, despite your embarrassment, the evening goes really well. In fact, your lady finds your parents' antics endearing and happily follows them after dinner to look at all your baby pictures. Okay, all of this is exactly what I needed to yeah, do. Yeah, let's go. Thanks, Steph. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it a dateless dating advisor. Uh. Read ad. And now, a message from our sponsors. Go for radio drama? It's straight. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like. Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? They love ice cream. The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. 
I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? <laughs> Are you just banter on the microphone? You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Time for a traffic update. <laughs> you live in Haven. There is no traffic. <laughs> this has been your traffic update. I guess do I know I could do this. Desperate to know what comes next in life? Give me a call here at KRCT, and I will tell you. Let's your do future. it. Certainly not included. May cause side effects such as boosted confidence, which can be fatal in rare cases. Remember, today is the last day of Pride Month. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone who supported me and the whole community. You guys rock. Here's a fun one. Today is National Avocado Toast Day. Let's go. Or maybe it isn't. It's not like any of you are going to Google it. More to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox. Bit of a learning curve, but we got this. I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Let's take a quick ad break, kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. Yeah. The RMG's reporters are so local. <laughs> they're in your apartment. That they're in your apartment? Right behind you. <laughs> right now. <laughs> eating your snacks. And as locals, these reporters... Care about what you care about. Care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse. Yeah, at. dude. If you want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decoration. Let's check the weather forecast, Haven. The whole week is slated to be hot as literal hell. But we can look forward to spotting a single wispy cloud in the sky for yeah. 15 minutes on Thursday. Let's go. So keep an eye out for that. The 4th of July is rapidly approaching. Don't be caught off guard, Haven listeners. Join your neighbors in the park for some grilling. I'm curious how many fucking voice lines they did for this. Getting hit in the face with a frisbee. Did you know that Pride is often called CSD in Europe? It's short for Christopher Street Day, the street that the Stonewall Inn was located on. Just a little fun Pride fact for all of you. Let's go. And now, an actual traffic update. Oh. The Eisenhower Tunnel will be closed for maintenance this upcoming Monday. So if you really got to get to the front range, now's the time to give up. And now a public service announcement from your friends right. at KRCT. Any sound at or above 120 decibels can immediately damage your hearing. So crank it up to 119 and keep it here. I am fresh out of banter. All right. That should be plenty for today. No more banter. We have for records to girls. What's up, new? Those vinyls are so fucking clean. What's up? You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst 
roommate. Oh. Need to see the receipts. That's a bold claim. Are you ready <laughs> to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. But it's just like strawberry Nice. BO. Strawberry B.O. Let's uh, go. Okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic okay give me a sec let's check it out it's gonna go terribly isn't it a five's pretty bad home not feeling like home that's a rough one so can a house meeting really turn it around the d20 didn't have high hopes The pain is escalates. The roommate vanishes. <laughs> I have seen into the blurry future. And? You have your house meeting? It doesn't help. He makes a big show of putting away, like, one dish. Then he's right back to the way he was. Really? There's just nothing I can do? Well, you find ways to cope. Small pranks. You play small pranks on him, leaving fake parking tickets on his windshield, swapping his pudding with mayonnaise. Your favorite is setting his phone's autocorrect to replace hey with send nudes. Wait, let me grab a pen. I want to take notes. It's a little petty for sure, and it doesn't really solve your problems, but it is fun. Not gonna lie, this wasn't the answer I was hoping for. Sorry, bro. I am but a vessel for the fates and yada yada. Thanks for the call. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. All right. Time to wander around. Time to wander around. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. This place looks great. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. <laughs> Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. 